Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, I wanted to thank you for all of the positive comments and emails that have been coming in. I'm really grateful and I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's very difficult for me to respond to all of them because there are just too many and I tend to get shut down when I have a lot of typing to do. It's not my forte. So I thought I would respond via a video and we could have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. <laughs> one of the things that people keep saying is that they really appreciate my honesty and transparency and candor. So I thought I would continue in that vein because that's what I'm up to in the world. That's who I want to be. Somebody that you can trust. Somebody that is going to say it like it is even when it's ugly. Uh, someone that's going to show you that their life isn't perfect, but also show you how they or I deal with it, how I get through it uh, when times are really, really difficult. Um, I've had a lot of difficult times in my life, uh, so I have a lot of practice dealing with them. <laughs> and I've got some really good tools for being effective in the midst of all that. Uh, this situation, my teeth, is probably one of the biggest things to have ever hit me. And that may sound silly, uh, it may sound vain, uh, it may just sound ridiculous. And why am I obsessed about it? Why am I worried about it? Why would I stop making videos because of my teeth? Well, my teeth have always been a problem for me. Not only have I always had bad teeth and going to the dentist and having fillings and teeth breaking and whatnot, but they were really crooked too. I had them straightened, I don't know, maybe 2002, perhaps? I had a retainer that I would wear at night and I straightened my teeth out, mostly. They're still not perfect. But up until that point, I wouldn't smile. I wouldn't let people see me smile. I was too embarrassed of my teeth. So uh, it's always been an, a big integral part of my low self-esteem was my smile, being embarrassed of it. So now when I go and brush my teeth and floss my teeth several times a day, I have to confront the fact that my teeth are failing me. I have to confront the fact that my smile is no longer whole. And that's a hard thing to stare in the face every day. And even worse, yesterday I went to the dentist and they gave me some wonderful news. <laughs> they told me that I'm going to have to have all four of my front teeth extracted. But there's nothing to worry about because they can give me a denture and I will wear this denture that I can take out and, and my life will be great. And they were really excited about the fact that they were going to yank out my front teeth and put a denture in. Um, as they were saying this with a smile on their face like there was no big deal, all I heard was, your life is over. <laughs> no woman will ever want you again. You'll never be able to give a talk again. No one will watch your videos. Your life is over. All of the things that you've worked for, the things that you dream about, the things that make you feel good about yourself, they're gone now. That's where my brain went. I immediately went to, into a panic and a huge black hole of depression. Yesterday was up there in the top five worst days of my life because it forced me to look straight into the fact that I have created an unsustainable life. I've created a life where other people benefit, but I don't. And again, people say that they don't care that I have holes in my teeth. They don't care if I lose teeth. It's okay. We'll still love you. We just want your information because that's what's important to us. But put yourself in my position. Imagine every day looking in the mirror and seeing your smile fall apart. And imagine what that would do to your self-esteem. And then imagine losing your four front teeth. Imagine the fear that you would have. Imagine what that would do to you. I have a friend who's a psychotherapist here in Vermont. And they've been telling me how much of the mental illness that they see is related to dental issues. That when people start losing their teeth, it changes them mentally. It breaks them. They lose their self-esteem. 
they don't feel whole anymore. When you look out onto the world and you don't have a smile that gets a smile in return, it changes you. And this is what I'm facing right now. And it's really frightening. The dentist said I could go somewhere and have crowns done, but it would cost six to seven thousand dollars, which is so far outside of my price range, it's not even funny. <laughs> uh, if it was six hundred dollars, it would be out of my price range. This is a reality that I have to face, and I don't want to be a victim of it, and I don't want to give into it, and I don't want it to end my life. It will change my life, but I don't want it to end it. So I'm going to show you that process. One of the gifts that I have is finding happiness and effectiveness in the midst of hell, in the midst of darkness, in the midst of depression, in the midst of fear and anxiety. I'm really good at that. I love discovering information that can benefit people and then finding a way to relate it that they can easily absorb and understand it and then apply it to their life. I love that. Uh, it's my great passion in life now to do that. But uh, there's something missing. There's, I haven't found a way to create a, a form of exchange. I keep giving. Um, and the more I give, the, the weaker I get, the, the lower down the hole I get. Um, people say I'm depressed because I'm undercarbed, but a lot of my depression comes from the fact that I've created a really unsustainable life. I've created a situation where um, it's not a loop, where I just give and nothing comes back. And many of you are saying, please don't stop making your videos. They help us. They're valuable. And I don't want to stop. I want to make videos. I love helping people. It's what I'm about. But I've dedicated the last eight years of my life to this, to the Running Raw project, to training ridiculous amounts, to traveling and spending all the money I made on races, which I never made that much. Um, and recently I put over 500 hours into hosting the U.S. Snowshoe Championships, which was a huge success, and I loved every minute of it, but uh, it ate into what little money I had, and it just devoured all my time and uh, I gave all that money away I gave it to the local ski programs I didn't make a dime on that race I spent money um, and I keep doing this again and again and again I keep giving my time away and I keep giving my money away to other people and causes and I make next to nothing and this brings me back to my teeth every time I look in the mirror it's a reminder that I have failed in many ways and what I'm looking at is not just holes in my teeth. What I'm looking at are holes in my life. What I'm looking at is my body in a state of decline. What I'm looking at is a life that doesn't support me financially to the point where I can take care of things like my teeth. So you want my videos, but this doesn't support me. So I've got to find a way to keep helping people and get supported somehow in the process. I don't know what that looks like. Uh, I don't want to charge people for my videos. That's not what I'm saying, but there's got to be a way for me to make an income and help people at the same time. I just don't know what it is yet. My shyness and introversion makes it extremely difficult for me to reach out to people. It makes it very difficult for me to build team. In fact, it makes it nearly impossible for me to build teams. That is probably my weakest link, team building. I've got great ideas. I'm really enthusiastic. I can motivate people, but I can't bring them together. And that's what business is based on, people collaborating, people coming together and creating a system of collaboration and exchange and uh, I don't know how to do that I'm willingly admitting that I don't know how to do that I'm a failure at it so I do everything alone and uh, that's not working so how do we do this because I'd like there to be a we I don't want it to be just me I never wanted it to be just me I just am terrible at 
bringing people together. So who wants to come forward and help me create a team so that this can grow and help more people and help me as well? I'm not trying to get rich, clearly. I've been doing this for eight years now, making nothing. I've been a pauper for the past eight years so that I can do this. All right, I'm throwing myself out there. Help me help you.